how do you see the relations between the Gulf Cooperation Council uh, and China? I think this is a great handshake. China and the GCC, these are two very important trade partners. Because, of course, China is a country that needs to import its energy, but it has also been the manufacturing hub of the world, and the Middle East needs that manufacturing. When uh, one thinks about uh, the Middle East and uh, the GCC in particular, uh, people think about energy and uh, oil. Uh, but uh, being in the UAE, uh, being in Dubai, uh, you would know very well that uh, the GCC is also about the smart cities, the concept of smart cities. How do you see the connection between the COVID-19 and this notion of smart cities? What we are seeing in, in smart cities, governments working together with the private sector, together with the infrastructure providers, with healthcare, with um, with energy companies, with waste management companies, with the citizens of those uh, company uh, of those cities, yeah. to to come to a way of making it much more convenient for the population of those cities. And having a smart city enables that. This in in a smart city, you your authorities have information. And they can quickly disseminate that information to the population. At the same time, the population's integrated with that data, with that information. So they are providing information back and data back to the city authorities. So this is a very synergistic and helpful environment to have. Now, of course, there will always be security questions. And that has to be looked at carefully because we have to respect and acknowledge and maintain the privacy of people. Don't you think also we can think about these new Silk Roads as continuity or continuities between smart cities, uh, the smart cities that we have in China, in Asia, in the Middle East, in Europe, and of course in Africa? Yes, David, this is a, a really exciting, um, a, exciting question and topic, because if we think about international clustering and how clustering works, and I've spent a big portion of my career looking at uh, most notably the, the chemical industry clusters around the world. And you know, humans don't exist on their own. They need to coexist with others. And in this way, we need to collaborate. I and mean, no city is complete on its own. Yes. So if you could indeed connect in this, let's call it um, road, yes. belt yes. type cluster, yes. an ecosystem of cities with different strengths, with different weaknesses, yes. I think this is a very visionary concept. It will be very powerful. What is fascinating in your narrative, in your presentation of the issues is that you insist very much on the notion of collaboration. I think, and I'm hopeful, I, I believe in the resilience of humankind. Yes. And we bounce back, we have this bounce back ability. Yes. And while we might hear populist leaders talk about polarization and, and thinking about trade wars or thinking about economic warfare, yes. I, I actually think the, the future is not anti-global. Yes, I do agree that the world is becoming multipolar, but yes. that doesn't stop collaboration. Exactly. And human beings are not complete on their own. And I was also very happy, Fred, that you did not mention a return to a, a new normalcy or new normal, because it seems to me that your vision is more about evolution and a progressive evolution. Yes, David, I think that the, that description summarizes where we should be, progressive evolution and not polarization, not new normals. We continue to evolve as, as a human race.